They keep our minds dumbed down by silly slave syndrome myth and mentally enslaved by biblical fairy tale so that we don't ever realize the truth of what they've done to us. It's how they prevent us from gaining the true and accurate understanding of our plight and condition that is required in order to develop the proper kind of strategies that are necessary to liberate ourselves. This is why those who know must teach African proverb. Black people critically think doing so isn't a crime yet. Have you ever noticed that virtually all information that we receive from white sources favor themselves over black people or exhaust themselves and marginalizes us or is negative about us and positive about them? Can't you see just how cartoonishly unrealistic this scenario actually is? Because white people control all the information that are fed into our society, they systematically feed false narrative into our society that exalts themselves and marginalizes black people. They constantly do, do, do so. Even their maps, if you notice on their maps, uh, Africa is made to appear 13 times smaller than its true relative size, while, while they make all white countries appear significantly larger than their true sizes. It's actually a social science tactic that is essential for maintaining white social dominance over black people. The first reason it's being done is because according to white social scientists, in order for a dominant population to maintain its position of social dominance over its subordinate population, the narratives fed into a society must exalt the dominant population above its subordinate population. This exalting of the dominant population creates false assumptions within a society that affects hiring, firing, promotions, and even criminal sentencing practices in ways that aids in maintaining um, white social dominance over black people. All societies function based upon the narratives that are repetitively fed into a society. The second reason for this false exalting of whites and false marginalizing of blacks is because according to white social scientists, people are inherently tribal and therefore do not naturally accept the long-term dominance of other racial groups over their lives. People must be manipulated to do so. This constant exalting of Caucasian while simultaneously marginalizing black people is actually also fraudulent propaganda that through repetition is designed to subliminally uh, convey the message that whites are inherently superior to blacks and are therefore supposed to rule over black people. This is also the hidden reason why virtually all health studies that we receive from white sources favor themselves over black people. Critically think. Can't you see just how cartoonishly unrealistic it actually is to have study results so one-sidedly favoring one racial group over the other? Actually is? It's also actually fraudulent propaganda that through repetition is designed to sublimely embed, to embed the myth of white racial superiority into the collective subconscious minds of black people. These propaganda campaigns instill a value system into the collective subconscious minds of black people that not only makes us more compliant with white dominance over our lives, they in fact make us even many of us prefer white dominance over our lives. White social scientists describe this nefarious practice as merely instilling a value system into the collective subconscious minds of black people that makes us adhere to the authority and existing infrastructure of the white dominant culture. This manipulation uh, of the collective minds of black people to think in ways that serve and protect the interests of the white society is an ongoing practice. Presently, white government agents that specialize in psychiatry and propaganda works unrelentingly behind the scenes, manipulating the collective minds of the black masses. These men analyzes and studies everything about the black population, our beliefs, likes, dislikes, strengths, and vulnerabilities. Th this surveillance information is gathered and decisions are then made on which fraudulent stories to produce to best create certain psychological feelings among the black population that assist the white society in maintaining their dominance over us. These men govern our minds, molds our opinions, and shapes our perception in ways that protects and serve the, the, the system of white supremacy through their deployment of many hidden social science tactics. Social science is one of the branch of science devoted to the study of human behavior, specifically how people interact with each other, behave, and develop as a culture. It's now being secretly used by white oppressive forces for maintaining false assumptions within the society that aids in maintaining white social dominance over black people. 
The general population doesn't know what's happening and it doesn't even know it doesn't know. Noam Chomsky said that. The reason it's being done is because although all white governments now publicly profess this equality for all of their citizens, the hidden reality is that they're all unrelentingly committed towards the preservation of their nation's white dominance over their black population. Therefore, when the blatant racist subjugation tactics used in the past for maintaining white social dominance over black people had become no longer socially acceptable with the changing times and resulted in unprecedented unified black protests, thus had ran their course. The white oppressors did not abandon the practice. They instead started deploying social sciences to continue their subjugation of black people as a means of maintaining their white social dominance over black people. Doing so provides white oppressive forces with their most proficient system used for subjugating black people. Because unlike the, the past blatant racist subjugation tactics that black people were able to easily identify and therefore de develop counter strategies against, this, these current social science tactics are not easily recognized nor easily comprehended by their black victims. White subjugation of black people always works best when its black victims no longer recognizes how it works. Our core problem is that most black people are totally clueless of the many ongoing nefarious social science tactics the white oppressor forces deploys for maintaining their social dominance over us. Case point and proof. Here are the hidden social science of um of why they whitewashed their history book and how it's designed to ensure that white dominance over black people continues well into the future. White social scientists theorize that a people's future is predestined by the history they're taught to believe by themselves. According to their theory, an inspiring history is required to achieve an inspiring future because people references their, poten their uh, potentials and capabilities in relation to history they're taught to believe by themselves. More specifically, people references those past positive information about their particular group to acquire a positive self-image and confidence that inspires their future. In a sense, the past can be treated essentially as a set of conditions that justifies or encourages future aspirations and goals. Therefore, because the true history of Caucasian does not inspire their future, the future aspirations of their racial group, they whitewashed it to meet that objective. More specifically, they whitewashed history to make Caucasians appear more significant throughout history than they truly in fact were, thus inspiring the future aspiration of their racial group. This nefarious social science is what's meant when, when white social scientist says that those who control the past also control the future. According to white social scientists, truth is not important for inspiring people's future. What's only important is what's perceived as true. Because people function based upon their perception of what's true rather than what's actually true. Therefore, whitewashing their history book to create a perception of a great past for them greatly empowers the white society. This is why white historians whitewash history by miseducating us to believe that the first scholars were Greeks. However, the Greece first scholars openly admitted that they were educated by African scholars. The world's first scholars were in fact Africans. When Socrates wrote of his studies in the book with Cyrus, he wrote that he and all the other Greek scholars received their formal education in Africa. This is also why white historians whitewashed their history books by teaching us that the father of medicine was a Greek named Hippocrates. However, the true father of medicine was an African named Imhotep. Imhotep was practicing medicine and writing on the subject for more than 2,000 years before Hippocrates, the so-called European father of medicine, was even born. He's the author of the Egyptian medical text um, written on papyrus, which contains 100 medical terms and describes 48 injuries and their treatments. This is also why all the geographically um, located, uh, locations confirm that Egypt is in fact in Africa. And although carbon date testings have scientifically proven that the ancient kingdom was built by Africans thousands of years long before the arrival of the Europeans and the Arabs during the 7th century. And while although 
all biological evidence, such as hair sampling testings, uh, melanin concentration skin testings, bone density testings, and DNA testings, have all irrefutably proven that Africa's ancient Egyptians were in fact Africans. The white society, however, refuses to acknowledge these facts and instead insists on depicting them as having been ridiculously European. They ignore all facts confirming that Africa's ancient Egyptians were accordingly Africans because white historians and white social scientists deliberately removed themselves from the non-aspiring um, caves of Europe and falsely placed themselves upon the aspiring thrones of Africa to inspire their racial group. Remember, truth is not important for inspiring a people's future. Therefore, whitewashing the history of um, Africa's ancient G Egyptians greatly benefits the white society. Now, while inspiring the future aspiration of their racial group, white social science attempts to stifle the future aspiration of black people. To stifle the future aspirations of black people, we're taught, misled to believe, that Africans were illiterate and uncivilized before the Europeans invaded, and that we therefore have no significant history that predates uh, the uh, Europeans' invasion of Africa. However, this is totally untrue. The truth of the matter is that when the Europeans invaded Africa, it was a profound act of betrayal because long before the Europeans exploited their gain weaponry advantage of guns and cannons to invade Africa, it was Africans that originally civilized Europe. The hidden fact is that Africans introduced science, writing, math, and philosophy to Europeans. The world's oldest universities, libraries, manuscript, encyclopedia, human prosthetic, mathematical tools, medical journals are all located in Africa. Africans invented the wheel, um, paper, the calendar, the concept of 24 hours in a day. Africans are the first to build in stone and to smelt metal. These facts are kept from us because it is um, it's designed to um, have us believe that we come from nothing. Therefore, it doesn't inspire us. Africans also introduced hygienic practices such as uh, to Europeans, such as shaving, toothpaste, perfume, um, um, deodorant, and even introduced the daily bath to Europeans. Queen Elizabeth of Spain bragged that she uh, only bathed twice in her whole life. Queen Elizabeth of London claimed that she's the cleanest woman of all of Europe for reportedly bathing once a year. These horrible bathing practices, non-bathing practices of European, discontinued after Africans introduced the daily bath to Europeans. These facts are, are all deliberately omitted from our history books, movies, and TV shows because they refute the myth of white racial superiority over black people. The history we've been taught has been whitewashed to make Caucasians appear more significant throughout history than they truly in fact were, while making we Africans appear less significant than we truly were. This nefarious practice also includes giving um, white people credit for most inventions that were in fact made by black people. C case point and proof. The majority of people are now functioning based upon their perception due to miseducation that most inventions that have revolutionized the world were made by Caucasians. Moreover, they believe that black people are the leeches of society that haven't invented much throughout history. It's in fact perceived that black people are moving forward into the future, the future, riding the coattail of white people. This perception greatly aids in maintaining white social dominance over black people. However, it's totally untrue. In fact, the truth is the exact opposite. The hidden truth is that in spite of cultural traumas wrought by the injustices of white racism and slavery, most inventions that have revolutionized the world were either in fact invented by black people or were directly inspired by early invention by black people. Without black people, there would exist no internet, no cell phones. We wouldn't have cameras and microphones on our cell phones. We wouldn't have the accurate weather forecasting system. We wouldn't have the cataract laser removal scope. There would be no email, no GPS, no hearing aids, no touch tone phones, no caller ID, no home security surveillance system, no home game cartridge, no motorized vehicles, no steam engines, no traffic light, no working light bulbs, no elevators, no skyscrapers, no air condition. There would be no modern color PC, no 3D movies, no central heating, no refrigerators, no helicopters, no washing machines, no lawnmowers, no dryers, no refrigerator trucks, no, um, no fiber optics, no nanotechnology, no bathroom tissue holders, no pencil sharpeners. 
cetera, et cetera. Black people have, in fact, enriched nearly every aspect of the lives of every person on this planet through our many inventions. The oppressor's depiction of the oppressed is never a true one. It's always negatively distorted to serve the oppressor's nefarious, hidden, oppressive agendas. This has remained a consistent fact throughout history and is especially still true now in regards to black people living under white oppression. The truth of the matter is that white people invented the pattern office and have always used it to steal intellectual property rights from black people. In order for black people to get our inventions mass produced, we have to go before white companies. These white companies acquires the rights to these inventions and then places white faces in front of the inventions. This scenario literally allowed the white society to continue uh, exploiting the intellectual genius of black people while maintaining the perception that empowers themselves that most inventions that revolutionize the world are coming from the minds of white people. The truth is completely the opposite. When a well-packaged web of lies have been sold gradually to the masses over generations, the truth will seem utterly ridiculous and a speaker a raving lunatic. However, we must question our perception of reality when it's been exclusively controlled by history's proven, most notoriously deceitful, and most narcissistic group of people. Whenever such a described people controls the perception of reality, they'll always distort it to falsely exalt themselves and to falsely marginalize us. It's the racist and narcissistic people they inherently are. It's the way they've always been. And it's the only way they know how to be. Black people, it's time to wake up to our reality. It is time to wake up to our reality. It's time to wake up to re reality. We are in the matrix. All society function based on the narratives that are fed into our society. The matrix are a series of false narratives that are fed into our society that falsely exalts whites and falsely marginalizes black people. Our society function based upon these false narratives rather than true reality. Therefore, function based upon the false reality, which we call the black people's matrix. One love and peace. Time to wake up.